Hello again my friends, you see I have a new desktop computer, really nice uh, processor, uh, main board and whatever, but I couldn't use my old Sapphire Pro 40 from Focusrite as a sound card because my old Firewire adapter, it was a PCI connector. So in the meantime, I just bought this uh, little card and the first evaluation or looking of the things, it's <laughs> absolutely awful. Hopefully it's working. But anyway, my first impression, it's really bad. I was trying to get this connector inside there and look at the connector on the board. It's not tied. You see, it's not soldered in place. Effectively, it's jumping in and out. Hopefully, hopefully it's still connected. But so far, if I'm looking closely here, you see those two pins, they're not soldered. And even these guys too. So, I don't want to return the card. I don't want to make a fuss. And look here, it's looking like uh, smashed or something. Anyway, let's fix it. You know, returning the card and having some other it takes a lot of time and energy and so on. Let's just try to fix this back to functionality, hopefully. So I'm going to take this out first, the bracket. This needs to be back to 90 degrees, something like this. And now let's see what we can do with this connector here. Well, look there. It's not soldering. Of course, shouldn't be a problem to fix it. But why these things are happening? You know, let's say if somebody's buying this junk, put it in the computer, you know, doing all that work there, suddenly realize that the connector is just flying away. What can you say? What can you do if you don't have any clue how to do these kind of things? Huh? So, flux. And I'm gonna try to redo these solderings. But before anything, let me take the port out. Yeah, it's clean. It's okay. Not even a drop of soldering on this port. A bright new card. Let's have some fresh leaf soldering. Soldering. Okay, that it's clean. Not yet. Now it's clean. Do you know something? Let me prime this too. Yeah. This is free. Three of these guys are open. Yeah. This is clean now. And I will also prime this. Hopefully it's okay. In the meantime, I will refresh these guys too with some better solder it. It's not looking good at all. Yeah, now it's fine. Looking good now. Maybe I should do this uh, inside to be sure this kind of soldering they are using now in the factories you know it's like uh, no lid and it's a pain to crystallize region okay looking good i can see the soldering you know went very nice the other side of the connector here all right let's have this back but in the meantime I'm gonna prime these two guys here. I'm trying to get all this shining thing first out of the way. Perfect. Let's get this into the board. Oh, I can see the problem. These guys are not long enough to be soldered. That's the problem. They should be a little bit longer. 
So effectively, it's not going the other side of the board. Let's start with this band. You know, the legs, they are so short. I think that's the problem. Can I push them farther down? Yeah, I can. At least two of them. Come on, get into the hole. Oh yes, of course. Look there. I can see the... I can see the soldering very nice went to the other side of the board. That's perfect. Look at this shiny solder. Look there, it's beautiful, isn't that? That's the way it should. It should look a proper solder connection. Okay, I think we are good to go. Let's clean this. Now let me have this brackets back. Let's have this guy planted into the computer. Okay, so let me take this out. also need a computer screw because they didn't bother to supply that so I have to find one in between my things I'm gonna use this port down here before that let me have some contact spray doesn't hurt a little bit of contact spray let's try this guy Which is not good. Oh yeah, this is better. Yeah, good. Here I have a fire wire cable ready to do the job. Call it a little cable management. And yes, back in place. Ooh. Okay, let's power on the machine. We should see the new card in uh, my devices. A okay. device manager. Oh yes, look here. Texas Instruments. You see this guy here? That's the card. Which is great. Okay, let me try to plug in the Focusrite sound card. Okay. And here, behind, it's right here. Okay. Oh. Power on. Power. Okay, I got the power, but obviously I have no, no connection here. But that's because I have to install a driver orientation guide and so on okay let's install this guy you see so now the fire wire it's working and the card it's locked uh, we can obviously i suppose we can open the what you got here the mixer that's it good to go Sample rate 90, okay, we don't need so much. We need 98, 48 kilohertz. Internal, of course, internal. Locked firewire that are connected. So everything is so fine. Now, let me have this card back in to the old place there in the shelf. And uh, we'll test the other things. I don't want to say anything, Benjamin did a great job for a while. But you can compare the quality of this card with a very basic USB recording. Okay. Now, if we are properly installed, should have sound, sound settings. Sapphire Auto, it's in the system. Beautiful. We got everything here. Yes.
that's it. Nice. Now, as long as I'm here, let me have a test with my favorite multi-track. And I have a microphone, of course, ready to go. Yes, I got signal on the meter down here. Oh no, Asia for all have to go away. And we have the sapphire apply. But I have no monitoring on this. I can try to have monitor on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can hear that. No, no, no. Oh yes, I can hear that. That's the monitoring. And uh, now if I'm trying to record, I can do it nice and very clear about microphone level. Oh, th this is too much already. What about the mixer? What the mixer is saying? Here I have the mixer. Okay, so here I have the input. Which one? This one. Analog in. That's my guy here. Left, right. Yes. Perfect. And uh, now if I'm trying to record, I can do it nice and very clear about hey. microphone level. Oh, that, this is too much already. I fixed a uh, FireWire card port installed the new FireWire card into the machine and uh, then installing the driver and here I am the focus right it's working as it should everything is fine there I'm back to my old setup much better than the USB than the USB audio from uh, Behringer don't misunderstand me I mean you can work with that but you can't compare the quality of the of the sound of the uh, analog to digital uh, converters and so on that's it for today thanks for looking don't forget to like and subscribe it's very important push the like button doesn't cost you anything I'm waiting your comments of course and uh, if I can assist you with anything just write the things down and I'd be happy to answer Thanks to my sponsors, thanks to Radu, thanks to Vlad from Amphia Records and Czech. And uh, yeah, don't forget, have fun, see you soon with some others. Bye bye.